What's going on? It's your boy Glendon back again with another video. We're going to talk about the social economics of trim and the thirst parade. This report is directly from my sugar baby research. I don't ever recommend that you become a sugar daddy and get yourself a sugar baby. You don't want to do that. You want to work on your game and get yourself regular women. A lot of these women have so many problems and are in such a bad and sad state that it is, you, you don't want to do that. However, reporting from Sugar Baby Avenue, I'm here to tell you that the social economics of trim have gone down. It's going down. <laughs> it's going down because I was like on there because one of the things that I would do with my research is I would engage in conversation with these women. I would ask questions that they were not used to asking questions. I had one, she's like, why are you asking me all these questions? Why are you being so personal? It's like, I went in and I just said, I'm a social scientist and I like to know this stuff. So I was giving information that other dudes were not getting. The social economics are trim. Price is the, driven by supply. If there's a lot of supply, price goes down. If there's a limited supply, the price goes up. Well, many of these women are unfamiliar with marketplace dynamics. This chick told me 1500 bucks for an hour. And I was like, good luck with that, right? So we were just going on and on. And this this chick, because I sent her an offer, and this is one of the things you don't have to worry about, because most of the time, if you're trying to do some of this stuff, it's just not gonna work out because when it dawns upon them what they are, if you are a sugar baby, you're just a dedicated prostitute. That's pretty much what you are. And many of them, once they get to that understanding, they either go in real hard and get themselves two or three sugar daddies, or they bail. So the social economics of trim has experienced downward pricing pressure because I offered this chick $150 and she said no, which is, you know, what's to be expected because most of them feel that they can get $250 to $500 for going on a platonic date. This is the information that's being pushed by all of these videos on TikTok and YouTube talking about you can be a sugar baby and get $500 for going on a two hour date. That sounds good. It really sounds like, oh, so I just gotta go somewhere with some dude and I don't have to Okay, I'm with it, right? The number of men who have the capacity to become a sugar daddy is somewhat limited because most people are struggling. Uh, for the girls that I've engaged and talked to, you know, they had been on the site for a while. They said most of these dudes are perpetrator, posers, or broke. And they're looking for a long-term engagement with consistent cash flow. Well, this one chick who told me 1500 she came back. She circled back like three weeks later, and I was like, I already found someone. And she was like, darn, darn, darn. She went from 1500 to 150. Here, here's the thing, if you're not part of this, I will be reporting from Sugar Baby Avenue every day hundreds of women jump on these websites. So what is happening is the trim supply is exponentially increasing at a staggering rate. I'm just sitting there like, what? Cause I noticed this about two, three months ago that they were starting to come on. Cause you know, there would be like a collection of girls and there will be like a few new ones per week. It's, it's, it's massive influx, which tells me that the economy is really doing badly. The economy is doing badly because first of all, y'all love my hobo sexual video. Y'all love that. This is kind of part two-ish of it. Many people are experiencing severe economic hardship. Men, women, a lot of people across the board are experiencing economic hardship. And women are now starting to turn to the world's oldest profession. So this is what's the social economics of trim and the whole prospect because essentially what is going on right now is a big shakeout in the market what is going on right now the economy sucks for so many people the economy because like this girl she thought she was gonna get 1500 for an hour i get 1500 bucks for an hour but i help people make money one of the things that i have seen is marketplace 
dynamics are starting to filter in because I'm still on there making offers. I'm getting caught because like I would hit a girl up with an offer, then essentially they would hit me back and I would like, oh, I already found someone, my bad. Because that's that's my escape clause. Oh, I already found someone because I, I was making the same offer to several women, sorry, my bad. What I'm finding out is, because I started at 300, then I went down to 250, then I went down to 200, and now I'm at 150, and my next price point is at 125, just to see what's gonna happen. Just to see how many women will take 125. What's happening is, I, I put out offers, it's like some of these chicks will get back to me like a week or two later, and they're like, if you're still interested, and I'm like, no, nah, I found someone. I found someone it it's just like oh my god reality is starting to hit these chicks upside the head they are really starting to go through it because essentially let me give you the experience because once again there is a few classification of sugar babies there is the young and delusional there is the single mother classification that's a classification of it all of its own and there is the mature classification and there's the old chick classification. And the young women are highly, highly disillusional because they're looking at TikTok, they're looking at YouTube. And then the single mothers, I would say the single mother click is probably the most desperate of the categories. I mean, they are literally, I mean, honestly, you know, I, I don't have no captain save them in me, but some of these stories are are literally heartbreaking. They're, they're really bad, a lot of these chicks, I'm just like, good Lord, my mom was a single mom and we didn't go through that. We didn't have that. I mean, they're losing their apartments. They're losing their cars. I mean, it is really, 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 really bad for a lot of people out there. And my heart goes out to the children because the children are going to be institutionalized in a poverty mindset. So that, that's one of the things, but rest assured, and I, I've talked about this before, but the price of trim is at an all time low. If you wanted to be a sugar daddy and you had game, you could get yourself four or five for what you used to pay for one. Let me say that again. You can get yourself four or five for the price of what you used to pay for one. And also there's another thing. There, there's some, uh, there is a, a, a little bit of game theory because essentially once you engage and you kind of set up some kind of deal, they stay on the site, they still be on the hunt. They still be looking for sugar daddies. They still be looking for a better offer. And I was just, I hit this one chick and I was like, I thought you already had, cause you know, I've made, you know, incidentally, I have made friends with a lot of these women. You know, I got their phone number. We've been out to lunch. They're still looking for a sugar daddy. And we're just talking, I'm just, because see, my game is really tight because I've been able to convince a few of them to give it up with no cash. It was just like, because I, I, this one, um, I actually picked her up at her job and we hung out for a minute. And then one day I just said, why don't you come over? And she came over on the lunch hour and we did it. And I've been able to do that because essentially, Here's another part of this. Many of these women who are on the Sugar Baby website, they're also on other dating sites. They're looking for real companionship, but if there's some cash in it, that's even better. But a lot of these chicks are lonely. Cause like, let me, let me tell you the little story and I'm gonna have to be YouTube PG cause I can't go into this. I'm thinking about doing an OnlyFans where I can tell my stories and not have to worry about this. But you know, she was about 40, but she didn't look 40 and we started talking and I went ahead and I picked her up and we went to lunch like six times. Then I went over to her house and it was just late and that one thing led to another and that happened. And then she came to my house and we never discussed what I was going to give her. We never, that never even came up. It was like we were dating and I got her off of a sugar baby website. We been messing around about like six months. She's in the rotation and she was on the sugar baby website looking for a sugar daddy. And this is to tell you how lonely some of these chicks are. Once again, there's many, many different classifications because I've been having myself a good time because like the ones who are disillusional, who are, who are asking for crazy sums of money, I just toy with them and I got 
got game. I was able to figure out how to manipulate Bumble before they changed the algorithm where I was getting a lot of, I, I was getting a lot of play on Bumble. I haven't been on Tinder or any other sites, but I was getting a lot of play. I was getting a lot of dates. I'm currently on Bumble and I am dating four hotties. So, you know, for me, and once again, I am the father of the Craigslist protocols. So I was able to get some fantastically hot women to come to my place without dating, without me spending any money and do some stuff. And Erica Williams, I'm not marrying nobody cause they pretty. Girl, stop it, just stop it. I ain't toying with no one's emotions. I'm making no promises. I'm making no promises. I'm not telling any lies. I'm not leading these chicks on. I'm just like, when we're together, we're together. And when we're apart, we're apart. I'm having myself a good time. Cause see, one of the things is, and you know, I, I need to get to doing some more uh, Manifest Destiny videos. When you have game, and game is just strategy. That's all game is. Game is strategy. It's not lying to a chick. It's having a basic understanding of how women are. I've been able to go onto a sugar baby website and get women and not pay them any money. Now. I mentioned this on the old disruptive male and one chick, she got mad. They get mad. It's like, you're supposed to be giving these girls. Like one girl, she got all of her feelings. It's like a real sugar baby doesn't have to have sex. I'm like, girl, you really don't know what you're talking about. And I actually did some research. There is a large percentage of the sugar baby population, about 35, 40% that doesn't engage in sexual activities. But once again, you gotta look at the men. What type of man does not wanna have sex? He's impotent. That's the type of man that don't wanna have sex. Cause he can't, he can't get it up. Can't get it up, he can't put it in, he can't prop it up. He needs to take some crutches on that thing to get it erect. And this, this man has money and these, these guys will pay a lot of money because it's kinda hard to get a girlfriend when you can't you know, unless you get a girlfriend who has a very low sexual drive and she likes you, okay, that'll work. But typically, if you ain't, she gonna be like, what's up? What's up? How come you ain't, you ain't trying to get this? And a lot of women, that's their secret power is the ability to have men, AKA the thirst parade, to come for them, to be with them, this is their superpower. This is their secret sauce. And if a, you're with a woman and you don't try to hit on her, you don't try to feel on her after a certain period of time, she's going to start to feel some kind of way. Like what's wrong with me? She could take it very personal. So one of the things that I've gotten to understand is the power of game because in 2021, the prices will go lower. I'm here to tell you in 2021, the prices will go lower. They will go lower. And one of the things that is crazy is people will resort to desperate measures in desperate times. You got some girl right now who's never thought about going on the Sugar Baby website. She's never thought about selling trim. And six months in the future, she's gonna be there because bad things are gonna happen with this economy. Bad, bad things are gonna happen. And this is what she's gonna be doing. And it is like, I'm here to report what's going on because this is one of the indicators that I use with the economy. Like literally, you know, since I've been on there and I've been doing research for a long time, I can notice the vast influx of new trim. It's like, good Lord, what just happened? Like new, 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 new. And there are so many of them and it's, it's, it's wild, it's wild. But gentlemen, you don't wanna be a sugar daddy. You, you, unless you got game. If you're a sugar daddy with game and you know your worth and you know the price points because this is something else, you can point blank ask these women what do they want in terms of remuneration and they don't have an answer. They're hoping that you will say something wildly outrageous. And I've been making offers for 150 bucks I'm about to go down to 125 and then move down to 100 and just see what happens. Just to see what happens and see how many bites I get. And I will report back here and let y'all know what's going on. Because another part of this is the thirst parade. The thirst parade are guys with no game, no 
knowledge of what women are like. They just like, they thirsty. They just like, they see a, a pretty halfway pretty girl. She don't even have to be hot. She can just be halfway pretty. She can be kind of sloppy. Her hair can be done. Her nails can be all chipped up and they be like, mm, give me some of that. Give me some. I'm thirsty. Give it to me. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Come here, girl. I'm thirsty. And you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a crazy, crazy thing. It is a crazy thing. But that's all I got for you guys. For you guys who know girls who, or if you're a sugar baby wannabe, go below, get 30 days to 2,500 and start making some real money for yourself so you can be respected. Be respectable. 30 days to 2,500 and get the money management course because most of y'all have some atrocious money management habits. I'm here to tell you. Go below and get all that. And I will see you guys in the next one.